What is going on, guys? DBG here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about a market crash in NBA 2K23, my team. I'm telling you, as the market crash is going to be huge on a few specific players, on some of the most important players in NBA 2K23, my team, and that is what is going to be happening tomorrow, lads. Do I have a thumbnail from Evan Tanaka on screen? Yep. Yep. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just, well, didn't want to make the thumbnail before the video. But, lads, if we saw what happened last week, there is a really, really important thing that happened. And it was that Flight School Turbo Packs came out. And initially, I would have made this video. I was kind of 50-50 on whether or not I was going to make this video. Because I thought, like, okay, it's either going to be... I think it's either going to change everything or it's going to change nothing. And whereas this time last week, I thought for there was a 100% certainty that this was going to be one of the most of like the biggest factors in all of the auction house. But I, the more I'm looking at what happened um, on Friday, the more I'm thinking, OK, maybe not. Because as we saw here with the old alternate reality, um, this was a this was a terrible batch of cards. Like, this was absolutely terrible. Like, we had this batch right here. Where almost all the cards were copied and pasted. And were, like, worse versions of cards we previously had. But yet, then we had Stellar. Where every single card... Other than K. Cunningham, who was a copy-paste. Who was, like, a copy-paste tactical downgrade. Every one of these cards was new. It felt new. The odds were absolutely juiced. Whereas the odds seemed to go... Almost right back to where they were um, a couple of weeks ago with these right here. The only difference was, was that there was a higher chance. You had a chance of pulling an unauctionable Clay Thompson or Pau Gasol. Because if you took away the unauctionable Clay Thompsons and Pau Gasols out of, uh, out of that, the odds of pulling a Magic Johnson or a Mello were almost the same as any old week. And also, um, the odds of pulling like pink diamonds and stuff seemed to be no higher. Like it was very rare you were seeing pink diamonds pulled at above a 10% rate, which is... A little bit disappointing, especially because in other years when they wouldn't have had the like juiced packs, and they've had the well, the quote unquote juiced packs, and um, pink diamonds were pulled at a much higher rate. So, you guys are seeing the pink diamond unauctionable, the unauctionable rate on pink diamonds, I'm pretty sure is like two or three percent, like it's really, really low. Whereas in other years, the unauctionable rate on or the pink diamond would have been pulled at like a 10 percent rate, um, for these packs in general. So while, yeah, it's easier to pull an, au an auctionable card compared to other years, the odds are still much worse, much, much worse on pulling an auctionable. And if that, if the trade-off of the odds being a little bit worse on auctionable was what it was in Stellar, basically everybody pulling the dark or the really good Galaxy Opals, then I think that's a trade-off that's worth it. But the trade-off of everyone pulling either Clay Thompson or Pegasol, and mostly Pow, Pow was pulled twice as often as Clay from what I've seen. Basically, you're getting a pink diamond that they just turned into a Galaxy Opal for the sake of it, which is a little bit annoying. But what is coming tomorrow is the, um, the not the Stellar Packs. It is going to be the, um, where are they? Not even Cosmic. It's going to be the Eclipse Packs. So the Eclipse Packs had Jamarant, Kawhi Leonard, and Yao Ming. So the Eclipse Packs are going to be coming out this week. And then next week, we're going to see Cosmic Packs as like the last two Tuesday drops in Season 4. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see something in Season 5 on Tuesday drops. I remember last year, we had, up until like March the 8th, we had NBA 75s. So we had the, if I'm not mistaken, the first three weeks of the season, we had 2K finishing out two of the decades. And then for the final week of the season, we had... Um, we had watched call it for the final week of the season. We had or final three weeks of the season, or two weeks of the season for Tuesday packs. I think that we had super packs with like lock in cards, but it wasn't too bad because they didn't do it the whole year. But cosmic packs are gonna be coming next week, and I actually think cosmic packs way better. I think these cosmic packs, as far as turbo packs go giving you an un a 10% unauctionable chance at a Galaxy Opal are going to be way, way better because you're going to be getting 10% of Vince, Dirk, or Harden. 
three guys you can maybe make the argument are the best in their position. But the big thing that it comes with the um the eclipse packs is Yao Ming. So Yao Ming is gonna be a hundred times more attainable than normal. The only big thing is that if we look last week at flight school, all three of Tatum, Zion Williamson, and J.R. Smith were pulled at a very at an equal rate. I remember looking at the auction house and there were an almost even number of Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson's, and J.R. Smith's. Um, if that was the case with Yao Ming, Kawhi Leonard, and like and Jam Morant, I would be saying, oh my god, Yao's going to drop to 5MGK. But I still think Yao's going to be impossible to pull. I still think Yao's going to be close to impossible to pull. I still, I can see Odom dropping to like 14, 15K. I can see a lot of these other guys dropping cheaper. I can see Wesley Person going back down to 2K. I'm telling you, the easiest way to make money is if Wesley Person goes down to 2K, buy like 10 of them. Buy like 10 of them within a month. As soon, and as soon as Amethyst show up for uh, for Limited, he's going to be good for that. But um, then you've got Kawhi Leonard. He's going to be pulled a lot. I can see Kawhi and Jam Morant because, again, we're already seeing buy now Galaxy Opals, which I don't even think we saw this time last year. Um, but Jam Morant is quite a... Or he's a little bit expensive, but Kawhi's already under 100. I think we see Kawhi dropping to like the 70k. Jaw dropping a lot because I think people are going to think they have a shot at Yao and I think Yao is still going to be next to impossible. Is Yao going to be... Like right now there is about 10 Yao Mings in the market. Is Are there going to be more Yao Mings in the market? Yeah. Do I think Yao is going to drop onto the million? No. I think he's probably going to hover around 1.2, 1.3 because he still is... Like You're still seeing him going for 1.5 plus. I can see Yao dropping... If 2K decide, you know what, we screwed up on Friday and we're going to make these even odds, I, yeah, I was going to drop under the mill. Just purely from supply and demand. There's going to be so much supply out there and while the demand is going to be unbelievably high, the supply is going to be higher than the demand that that have over a million MT right now, post, uh, post bans. And I think we see Yao Ming becoming a lot more attainable for people that want them. A little bit annoying. I hate playing Yao. I absolutely, absolutely hate playing as Yao Ming. But I do think we see his price. His price is either going to drop. Like, no matter what, there's going to be at least twice to three times the amount of Yao Ming's on the market. Even if these odds are terrible for people opening these Tuesday packs. But if 2K actually make it so that it's of the own, of the 8% on auctionable, that it is, let's just say, 3% Ja, 3% Kawhi, 2% Yao. And if there's even a 2% chance at Yao Ming in these packs, there's going to be eight times more Yao Mings on the market. And in terms of supply, again, in terms of supply and demand, with even with them being auctionable, um, the amount of supply there is going to be out there is going to greatly, greatly overtake the demand of people that have 1.5 to 2 million. While the supply of Yao Ming will never be greater than the demand because the demand for Yao is literally every player in the game. However, the demand of for Yao of people that are going to have 800, 900k plus might end up being very much um like trumped by the amount of Yao's there in the market so I can see that dropping a bit. So do I think 2k are going to weight the odds evenly between these three? Nope. I think we see Kawhi dropping to next to nothing. I think we see Ja dropping and I do think we see Yao dropping a couple of hundred KMT. 2k do weight the odds evenly. I think we see Yao dropping under a million for the first time in a long, long time. Well, first time ever at a time where people probably people didn't think it was going to happen for a while. But first time ever, I think.